coverage of the threat level increase across the United States. Tonight, White Patterson Air Force Base is at condition level Bravo. This after a growing concern of a jihadist threat in the United States. And officials are asking you to be on the lookout. Maytal Levy has been on the story all day. She's live with what the threat level means for us. Well, Robert, the high alert hasn't only caused issues here for traffic and security measures, it also caused Mad River School District to keep students inside. This morning, Wright Patterson Air Force Base increased its threat alert level from Alpha to Bravo. The raised alert means extra security, and what military officials tell us is an increase of predictable terroristic activity. I spoke with Colonel John de Villiers from the base, and he says the alert is to make sure military personnel and the public stay vigilant. So does that mean that there was some kind of terrorist threat? It just means that there's an increased uh, and more predictable threat of terrorist activity does not relate to a specific action. Bases across the country increased their alert levels today. Mad River schools are down the street from Wright Pat. Superintendent Chad Wyan got a notification on his cell phone about the threat alert. We kept all our kids inside for recess today, um, just to kind of err on the side of caution. Um, as far as our buildings, though, uh, we just kind of ran at business as usual. Uh, we have very secure buildings. With only one point of entry into their school buildings. The FBI announced on Thursday a general concern for ISIS focusing on military and law enforcement. Being so close to the base, Wyan says the school district is aware of ISIS reports, but have a good relationship with military personnel. No, I actually, I think that's kind of a reality we live in now. Um, but I do appreciate the fact that, you know, once those are communicated, then we can act on that. And we all should be on the watch. Uh, you, we have to be prepared for, uh, you know, social media and what we consider to be lone wolves. Uh, there's always that potential around the United States. Now, the last time the alert level was raised from Alpha to Bravo was on the 10th anniversary of 9-11. As for when the alert will be lifted, it's still unknown. The command will come from headquarters in the north. Base spokespeople say if you see any suspicious activity, call your local law enforcement or Eagle Eyes. For that number, look for this story on our website at WDTN.com. Live at the base, Maytal Levy, 2 News, working for you.